Appraisals, appraisals, appraisals. What are appraisals and how do they affect the home buying process? I say that appraisers and real estate agents are arch nemesis and that's because of what I'm going to talk about later in this video. Within the last few years there's been a lot of regulations that come out with the appraisal process and that they have to be third party advocates to the home buying process altogether. So they can't have business relations with the lender and they can't have those type of relations with the home purchaser as well because that can skew the overall appraisal process. This is a little technical, but what happens is when you order an appraisal, you're paying the lender who is, the lender is using a third party to hire in a specific appraiser. So a lot of the times the lender doesn't know who the appraiser is that's going to come out until they're at the house or when they're submitting their report to the lending company. Appraisals are important because when you are purchasing a home with a loan, they're not needed if you're purchasing with cash, but when you're using a loan, appraisals are required and appraisers do two different things. First thing they do is they make sure that the property matches the standards of that specific loan type. So if you have a conventional loan, it's a little bit looser about the requirements. However, when you have a governmental loan like FHA, USDA, or VA, they usually are a lot more strict when it comes to the overall condition of the home and the requirements list that appraisers have to abide by. The second part where most of the issues come up is they have to give an overall analysis of what that home's market value is. Why is that a problem? Well, the problem stems from the fact that if it doesn't come in at an appraisal value, that the purchase or the under agreement price is. So let's just give an example, right? We're at $300,000, we're both under contract, the seller's happy, they're getting what they want, buyer's happy because it's the home of their dreams, right? Everyone's just lovey-dovey, loving everything, and the appraiser comes in and ruins it. Okay, not necessarily, but the appraiser comes in, they do their evaluation, and they say, according to homes in the area, it is not worth $300,000, it's actually worth $290,000. Okay, we have a $10,000 difference. You know, that's not that much in the grand scheme of things. You'd be wrong. What happens in that situation is the lender sides with what the appraiser says and they said, okay, we will only give you a mortgage with the understanding that it's for $290,000. So if you're using 5% down or 20% down, however much you are using, they're only gonna give you a mortgage so that combination of your down payment and the loan will equal 290. That's what they agreed to. They are not going to go above that 290. Where does the $10,000 come from? That's where you can get really dicey in the transaction. Does the buyer pay for that $10,000 out of their own pockets? Does the seller negotiate and they say, you know what, I'm happy to get this house sold. Let's just meet at a new contract price of 290 like the appraisal says. Or do you have to do negotiating on both sides and you have to meet somewhere in the middle? Like you meet at 295, so the buyer has to pay 5,000 more for the house, but the seller still loses $5,000 of potential profits. The appraisals themselves are tied into the mortgage contingency of the agreement of sale. So if the buyer and the seller does not come to an agreement because of this appraisal issue, you are able to break contract and that's a protected manner that can cause for termination if the two sides cannot agree on it, as long as that happens within the dated timeline. Luckily, I haven't had an issue with it personally, but I know many of agents that had the appraisal issue come up, both sides can't agree, and then what thought to be the home of their dreams, they have to go and terminate the contract go try to find a new home of their dreams while the seller is upset, but they can go and see if they can find a different buyer for the property. It's a very frustrating aspect for real estate agents to have to deal with it. And I know I'm probably gonna have to deal with it eventually. I'm just hoping I don't. And I hope you don't as a home buyer because it's not fun. And that's why for my clients, I usually give an estimate before writing an offer of what other homes sold in the area. It's not an official appraisal evaluation of what the home is worth, but it helps give you an idea. What other real estate questions do you have? Drop it in the comments.